in hell. Five guys. You can't take one of the five guys and just deliver the burgers for me. You always fucking close for delivery. What the fuck is that? Hey everyone and welcome. So your 2019 Mr. Olympia Brandon Curry definitely thinks that his legs were the main reason for his loss against Big Ramy at the Olympia 2020. The plan is set for the Olympia 2021 as Brandon is utilizing all the advanced methods to bring up his legs, especially his hamstrings. Hassan Mustafa makes a big move 10 weeks out of New York Pro by moving to US and training with the legend Flex Lewis for rest of his prep. He is already looking way ahead of schedule and Hassan at his best will be hard to beat. He himself said that the bigger he gets, the longer he has to prep for the shows. Rolly Winkler looks absolutely freaky in the latest arm training footage. Certainly the best arms among all IFBB pros right now or even the best arms in the history of bodybuilding. But that's up for debate of course. Hopefully he'll break his silence soon about his future competition plans because the beast was definitely missed at the Olympia 2020. Personally, I don't think Kai Green is up to something as far as getting back to the bodybuilding stage is concerned. But lately, he has been putting out his current physique updates frequently. At 45 years old, can he bring the density back even if he wanted to? Psycho Fitness believes that Ronald Gordon is the next rising star in open bodybuilding. Guys like Ron and Mark Hector possess a real classic physique with no stomach problems, right? Hopefully, both these young talents grow while maintaining this small waist. Now here is a pic of Brian Jones at 8 years old showing that he was meant to do great in bodybuilding. Brian currently at 233 pounds is looking dangerous and since Olympia he has been progressing at a fast pace. Goal is to win classic physique Olympia title before switching to open class. He wants to bring up his back and his legs for the Olympia 2021. Blessing does get a lot of criticism about his legs, but his upper body, especially his back, is off the charts considering his age. Here is an interesting comparison of him and the goat Ronnie Coleman. Considering Blessing stays healthy, he will definitely be looking unbelievable in a few years. Here is an update of the 212 competitor Ahmad Vardani on empty stomach. Who else thinks that he has a better shot of doing damage at the Olympia than Ahmad Ashkanani? Just because of the balanced legs and way more separation than Ashkanani, he looks more complete. Hopefully, he'll earn his first Olympia qualification this year. And here is Nick Walker confident as always in his abilities that one day he will be the best ever. Nick, do you think you can beat Rami? Yeah. <laughs> if he's 100% you, and you're 100%, you think you can beat him? Yeah. Beating Big Rami at his best, well, that's definitely a huge claim. So let's give him a couple of more years to acquire that muscle maturity so that he can back up his claim. An interesting comparison of real double bicep between him and Rami shows how good Nick is gonna be in the future. Ending this video with Brion's off-season physique update who doesn't plan to get sloppy at all this year. Weighing above 215 pounds, the former classic physique Olympia champion is still holding his trademark lines and decent conditioning. If you like the video, please do subscribe the channel. Thank you.